Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and we have posts from Belgium and this is quite special because I am collecting a little playset that's been, um, it's been taking a while and if you've been following the channel you maybe know about this so it's a playset of beta counter spells and as you can see I've already got two. So what do you think is in the package? This is going to be, if everything's correct, it's going to be number three. Or somebody just sold me a beta counter spell and he's sending me, I don't know, a foreign black bordered or I don't know, revised version. Let's find out, let's open this up. But I don't think so, I bought it from Simon, he's a Belgian player, also a bit of a trader. And um, so not a trader, but a trader with a D. Um, really nice guy. And he's got fair prices. And I actually got, um, oh, let's just, I think there is an address on here, so I'm just gonna flip it. Um, and this one, I think, or no, this is the one I traded. This is the one from the States. And this is the one I actually got from him earlier. So it's a really nice copy of Counterspell. Fantastic condition if you take into account how old these cards are. So I was very happy when I saw that he offered a second one and I had enough funding to get it. And that should be in this envelope right here. Open it up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> counterspell number three. I never thought I would own a single beta counterspell, let alone three of them. I'm just gonna open them up. I'm gonna show it to you from close by. Let's get it, also get it out of the sleeve. Wow, absolute beauty, look at that. So beautiful. The interesting thing is, by the way, the reason I started playing with blue is not because of the counter magic. I, to be honest, I find counter magic difficult to play with, seriously, uh, even though I've been playing blue for a while. Uh, I chose it because blue is the color where you can copy stuff, you can steal stuff, and it was also the color that had like cool big creatures like Maa Motijin and Air Elemental, and of course a Protocol Sorcerer. So those, that was kind of the reason why I started playing blue when I started Magic and Revised. Um, so yeah, so now we have three counter spells. So only one more to go to complete the playset. And look at that, isn't that a thing of beauty? Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Simon, for sending this to me. Uh, very well packed, very quick, very good. Good to do business with you. Um, and I guess what I'm gonna do now is save up for number four and uh, hopefully complete the playset. I don't think it's gonna, I wanted to say before the end of the year, I don't think that's gonna happen, but let's say early 2022, I'm hoping to complete the playset. Anyway, thank you very much, uh, Simon. And also thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, um, it's quite easy. First thing you can do if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe and ring that bell. If you do that, that's already a great help. And another thing you can do is you can leave a comment and leave a like. All that helps. And last but not least, you can also become a patron of the show. And how does that work? Well, quite easy. There's a link popping up right now or an info card, I should say. Click on the info card and that takes you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. Anyway, uh, once again, thank you for watching another episode. And now let's go to the end scroll and take a look at the fantastic, the wunderbar, the amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken
Ik het was, 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 ik het was